Hey, my honeys. So, today we're going to try to play in some wiggage. But I have this cat, remember, that I put it on and all that and put the makeup. And, and when I took this off, I wet it, wet it, wet it real good. And it just kind of like slid off for real. This is the little crunchy from all the stuff I put on there. But that's the Gosta B and all of that. I'm not even letting that bother me, okay, at this point. We got an itch. We got itch. Anywho, we are going to try and reuse this. It's crunchy. It's hard. You see, it's stuck together. Look, I pulled that apart. It's just thin. <laughs> like, so... All that is residue from the gots to be and all of that. Um, I am going to wet it. Then I'm going to try to flop it back on the head and reuse it. Because I believe that's a thing. <laughs> then now it's low-key slimy from the gots to be. I'm thinking that I am going to use that sliminess. And put on my hair. First of all, let's put it on. So we have that back there. That's coming on up here. The edges is laying already. We ain't even letting that bother us at this point. Like kind of rolling it back down, you see? And then it will probably re-stick. Push come to shove, guys. If need be, that pack did come with two of them in there. So if you don't want to be cheapy like me right now, you could just use your other one. But I think that some people do this basically when, I don't know. For me, I don't even look for caps or whatever. But I do know that sometimes it's hard to find your color. Or if you find that perfect cap that just matches you, and you like, oh my God, I need this, you probably go ahead and get a few uses out of that one cap. If you know what I mean. You still don't want no lumps or no bumps. You want to be able to just smooth it back on out, I suppose. And it ain't doing nothing but running, guys. It's running. We have a runner. But who cares? Like, that is just perfect. Okay. And it's wet. All I did was wet it with water. And it just reactivated what was on there. So, you're just going to put that down over them hairs. And them ears. At this point, you may still have to go in and cut off the excess. So if I must say, the excess for me is this part. It is not soothing down like that. It's not smooth and flat. It's like still a lump in there that I cannot get out. So I'm going to just assume. Let me go in and cut just that. A little bit goes a long way. I'm barely even cutting. I'm just going right where that's at. Okay, so yeah, we just cut that little BS off and we good to go. I like it the stock of cat method as far as the edge go because when that wig or that front or whatever gets to moving around it's moving around on this versus your hair now once this has came loose with the wig and get the moving you may be a little concerned with that edge you know
I don't even think we really need to add any more product. Because <laughs> I literally just reactivated the rest. This is still down by the braids, I guess. You know, holding on to that. If need be, though, we will be cutting some of these off. We're diving back in with our full lace wig. I will be putting the wig down just for the purpose of, I know you guys want to see that, probably, okay? If you go to purchase this wig, you want to see how you would do that. So that's why I would do it. But for me, I wouldn't even put the back down. I'm secure my whole front. I probably would even secure behind the ear part because when the wind blow, that's where it's going to be seen. But as far as the neck go, that's only if you're bringing it up and you want to do all that extra pony stuff. I didn't put any extra product on here. This is a full lace wig, guys. So I put all the makeup probably around the whole top part. When we get around to the back, I guess this is a little light skin. So I will probably just leave it because you want that to be more stick out ish in the back anyway. Remember her? My two little braids. On the sides here. Those basically could be used as reference to the ear tabs, okay? So this is the front of the wig. And when you come along down to the side, that's the ear tab. I noticed that that thing was like kind of over my ear. So we're gonna cut the back off only up until that point. And you know you could bust it down in them sections. Just helps you to be neater. Have more control of what you're doing. That is lace all on the back. That's the back hair lineage. It is pluckage too, y'all. It's like already plucked and everything. So basically we're gonna cut accordingly to the pluckage. You already know, to get these hairs out your way, you would just zap, put some water on it, spray it, and move it out the way so you could see. So that's all off, but of course you will leave just a little lace so that therefore you will have something to glue it down with. This part, this band is not going to glue down. It's not going to stick and it's not going to do that. Now you can manipulate it, play it off, make it look like it's doing something because all naturality, once you put it up or something like that, you could pull these little hairs out and just cover it up and make it look like something. But that looks good. Y'all tell me how I look in the back. The back is done. All we gotta do is cut off our ear tabs and make that look natural. So it'll be like, and then boom. Now when you're cutting off the ear tab, guys, don't cut this band. See how close that band is there? Don't cut the band. Just make sure you cut that lace. So when you go around that ear, go around that whole band. 
because this is those adjustable straps with that band guys so if you wanted to pull that down and make it a little tighter you can do that but if you cut that band it will be in ineffective it wasn't it won't even work i'm probably gonna do the one coat i'm gonna make sure i do it good enough to put those down okay I'm going to put all that down and do all that, and I'm going to let that dry. And then I'm going to go ahead and lay my lace. And you already know when you're laying your lace, you do a piece at a time. So always start here. Okay, always start there. And then go around and do one side at a time. This side will be done. Then you come over here and you put that down and do one side at a time. So you're not going to put this glue anywhere beyond this point so by the time you get all of that glued down and your lace is down to that you would still have room to cut your lace off because you didn't glue all that down so Okay, so when you're blow drying and you going like this on it, you're just trying to mesh it down and make sure everything is melting together. The fact that you have your scarf on there as tight as possible, this is not moving it around. This is just holding it down and doing all of that. But the air with it is like helping to dry it in place, not going to move and do all that extra stuff. And another thing, guys, is when you first putting on your lace is always better because you have the lace to play with and move, help move it around and do what you need to do with it. Now, when you go off into cutting that lace and you try to redo it, it's when you're going to sit there and have to pull some hair out with it and, you know, kind of use that hair or whatever, but it will already be cut to your head. This whole process of blow drying has been cold. So I have been doing it on cold and I did this for at least about a good 10 minutes okay so um just to make sure it's all in there for real for real you can go ahead and go about your day now do what you gotta do but if you like oh i'm going out tonight and you trying to get dressed and ready you will stand there and hold this for 10 minutes but other than that maybe even five because gasta be does not take any time to really dry but you know if you could put this on okay maybe zap it and hit it make sure it's down on there and then go ahead on and get dressed or Go pick out your outfit or, you know, for real, go do some makeup or whatever, you know, you're going to do. Because at this point, all you got to do is go ahead and cut your little lace off and be done with it or whatever. But then again, if you're going to put that back down, then you will go and just probably use some guys to be sprayed for that. Like, you know what I'm saying? But we're going to get into all of that, okay? I've been wanting one of these so bad to cut the lace. I've been wanting to do it with that. Okay. So that is on there, guys. Now, you know, I like to break it on down into the sections. And whatever sections that are not down, just spray that gots to be on there. You want to get it taut around the ear.
may have to flop this scarf on three, four times to get it all the way completely together, okay? Okay, so that's more like it to me. But of course it's crunchy. So what I wanna do right now before I move any type of forward is um get the back up because now at this point we're gonna go in with the mousse, do all that cute stuff, get it designed and how we want it. And we're gonna put that scarf back on, but we're gonna put the scarf on just enough so we can start messing with the back while it's on. Okay, so we got the pony in, which means we can play with this bag now. We could try to kind of try to get it glued down, map it out where it's going to be glued, -y, and then keep it moving. This is my favorite, okay? But I don't know. This is about go. I'm going to go get it. Since I'm playing with these frontals and wigs and things and carrying on, I want to have this on deck. So I'm going to make sure I go and get a bunch of it. I don't know how I'm going to wear the hair or nothing. But you want to comb out the crunchy. That's what I usually use the mousse to do. But indeed, if we are about to do some baby hairs, we can at least map out that who don't love baby ears this wig was pluckish to good guys look i done nothing to this wig okay nothing at all i just put it on and kept it moving to be honest okay i'm a new mom I could go on head on and say I didn't have time today to do these edges and get it all together. Guess what? What lace? <laughs> okay. I could go ahead and play it off, honey. Like, this is just the whole real demonstration. And not even bother with it at this point. If I was going to go in there and pluck it, y'all, I would go in there and get that defined line right there. I would go in there and get all of that out of there. But to me right now, it looks good. I really could just leave this alone for real. I could just like leave this alone. Put this kind of high, so this is going to sit there and, and do its thing on its own. It's going to dry on its own. We ain't going to let that bother us. But in the meantime, we could be at least secure in the back. Which ain't going to take much, guys. We're going to take a... Uh-huh. Okay. Uh, okay. long as you get them tabs behind your ear, you kind of cool. Because even if you go and throw it up, guys, these little baby hairs and all that will hang over the neck part itself. So this lace right here, that's all we really want. I'm going with that. Like that. Go down as far as you need. Go up as far as you need. Okay. Get everything prepared or ready. 
Because you don't want to start drying until you got it placed exactly where you want it. And you want those hairs out the way. See, I pushed it down. It kind of stuck down on its own. Now, you're just going to hold that in place while you dry. Pretty much, this, this is all down, but it's crunchy, okay? So, I want to hold it down and kind of start combing some of that crunchy out. That'll do. And this is only if you're wearing it up, you know what I'm saying? If you are wearing it down, comb the crunchy down when you let all your hair loose and then flat iron it how you do. But if you wanted to get technical at this point, you probably could have just took, let's just say for instance, <laughs> you know this is work, guys, it's work. You will take another uh, silk type of hair wrap, place on that back, not over this because you don't want it bumpy from the knot that you were about to place. Let's say I had a knot right there and this is on the back, okay? This is open and this is open to the point where if you put this over this, it's not only going to leave a lump in your hair, wrinkles, okay? And you just work so hard to mold it with the mousse and everything. Um, it's going to take longer to dry. If you had to go back in and dry, it's too many layers on there. It'd take longer to dry. So that's why I say this is open and then this is open. This don't got too many layers. This don't got too many layers. And then, boom, you go ahead on and proceed to blow dry from front to back, side to side, and all of that. And just make sure it's dry. Make sure it's securely dry, okay? So uh, that's all it takes. And you can dry on cold, okay? On cold is okay because it ain't burning the heck out of you. And it dries just the same as hot, you know. But I'll be thinking that when you use a uh, hot or whatever and then you playing with it while you're drying it, it makes it turn wider because it's drying quicker, quicker, quicker. So you playing on you trying to get little pieces and parts together while you're drying and it's just turning white looking stupid. Any drying process that you're doing, you really wanna have it all locked and loaded, said and done already before you actually have to go and put a scarf on and dry. That way while you're drying, it's just going through whatever to dry it and you ain't playing with nothing. So you ain't worried about that white stuff. And y'all please don't mind me with my thick little curl. I love these things. I love them, love them. I don't have a problem with them. It's an art. Okay. Now, this is a full lace wig, okay, from Eva Hair, y'all. Get into it. It's not going anywhere. I did secure it. I secured that back, I think. Yeah, that back is secure. It's secure, but it was a little crunchy. So, of course, I love my long hair and everything. This is only 18 inches for me, but, you know, you can go check them out now. They got all type of demonstrations going on. This was a straight wig that I had. Remember, I put them two braids in this. And this is that curl and that wave from the two braids. Okay, you would think that I curled it, and I didn't know. I'm not selling food today, but... I'm going to go shopping and try to grab some stuff on my front porchy. And then, um, so we can start sitting out there. It's not sitting out there ready. Look at this, guy. I don't know how good y'all can see it. This is a full lace wig. I got that stocking cap on underneath. Okay, I want to say I got them faux braids. Oh, that part look good, y'all. And that ain't nothing but that cap. That ain't nothing but that stocking cap, to be honest. That look good. If I wanted to go on over there with it, I would have to mold it, guys, use some heat and do all that. I've done nothing. I have done nothing. But that looks good. 
all the way through. Oh, I just really wanted to put this on today. That's what I wanted to do. And it, I didn't want to put it on without you guys. Like, okay, I didn't want to cut the lace without you guys. I didn't want to do none of that without you guys. So if I was going to do it, I had to do it right with my honeys. Okay. We scratch them, no. Mm -hmm. Ain't no deep butt. How you getting so fat, y'all? <laughs> So I get big, mommy. I grown man. Look at that back fat. Mm -hmm. Say hello. This little slobbery old thing. Ugh. Babies kill me. Demanding stuff, yelling and stuff. Who you yelling at me at? Who you yelling at, but? Mm. Who you yelling at, but? Mm -hmm. Got your mommy man. That's the mommy meow at the year. I could be across the room and I'm like, hey, meow. And he just be cracking up like, he know that's his name. Hey, mommy meow. Mm -hmm. What you looking at? What is you looking at, meow? Huh? What's up there? I really wanted to get this lace all cut too, guys, so that that way, look at him. <laughs> who is this woman? Like, I literally just had that bald head. He like, who is this man? No. Girl, you just keep coming up with different stuff. Mm, you bird, big boy. His hair growing back, y'all. He was receding. Uh-oh. He said, I threw up. <laughs> he was eating bananas, y'all. Say, hey, man. I chew everything. You chew everything, man. <laughs> you chew everything, man. Mm. trying to hold it in but yeah guys i think this is gonna be it for the day we got a nice wind flow going on okay so i didn't do any plucking on this eva here y'all full lace wig i did no pluckage i'm not even playing with it because of the curls the fake curls from the braid or whatever but that's how i'm about to leave it yeah, i will leave everything down in the description about the hair i know y'all was waiting on me to style it and stuff, but I'ma definitely get to that, okay? If if I get hot, I can go throw it up. <laughs> if I get hot, you better believe I'ma swoop these hands, I'ma keep me a little thing around my wrist, and I'ma throw it on up. But we ain't going nowhere, we're gonna be in the car in the AC, so. Think how big you think KJ has gotten. Oh my God, he is huge. <laughs> Look at that leg, choking mocha. Eat him up over rice. <laughs> I'm getting dog scared. I, I'm noticing it. Because this little cat was matching me perfectly at first. I went out there with my little red hair, burgundy hair, and sold some food and got dark. Okay? So, I'm like darker than I was. But it's fine. We not letting none of that bother us. And guess what? We're going to see y'all on the next one. The next one. <laughs> Do it, man. Mm, don't eat it. <laughs> mm. <laughs>